New, extremely clear images show the persons of interest in last week's campus shooting. It's like a breath of fresh air. Um, I know like the first couple images were kind of blurry, so people were kind of like unsure. But now that we can see those faces and know who they are, it's like a big woosa <laughs> um, because we know that they'll be caught and, and you know, handled accordingly. Tuesday night, Morgan State's president David Wilson showed the images at a town hall. The event solely focused on the shooting and the institution's response. Definitely just looking forward to what um, changes they plan to implement when it comes to security. Right now, Wilson says there's increased security as well as campus wide patrols and an armed officer stationed near where the incident happened. As for what's planned in the future, he says the university is adding more cameras to their campus wide coverage. They're exploring how to enhance technology to identify anyone with a weapon and looking at adding more metal detectors, guard booths, and blue lights. But the largest investment is a plan to limit open access to campus. The president announced a new goal to enclose 90% of the campus to, quote, eliminate unfettered access. They're proposing 8,000 linear feet of new fencing to the Morgan Wall, costing more than $6 million. All in all, the projected cost for the first phase of enhancements is more than $22 million. Wilson says the school is submitting that cost to Governor Moore to be paid for. I feel as a student, it's great to hear what they're putting in place, but I believe it when I see it. There was a Q&A session at the end of the town hall where students asked about what this will look like, having a closed campus, what that means for them. Wilson responded by saying they are figuring that out right now. We'll keep you updated, but for now, live at Morgan State, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL-TV 11 News.